Hey, I'm Brian from Greenlight Surf Supply. We offer a service where you can design a custom close tolerance surfboard blank so you can build yourself a copy of any popular surfboard model on the market today. In this video, I'll show you how we go from this to this to this to this to this custom cut surfboard blank. Just shape the rails and the bottom contours and glass it with the simplified green light method or any traditional glassing method with epoxy resin. This is by far the easiest way and cheapest way to copy any surfboard on the market. And plus you get better quality because you do it yourself with proper materials. Uh, and it's a ton of fun. So why don't we get started? Okay, so we're gonna start by going to Google and typing in whatever surfboard you wanna make. And uh, we go to the images tab. And we wanna find an image that has the profile and the outline like this one. So we're gonna download that one. So we download that into the folder. And for Aku Shaper, we need the rocker to the nose to be pointed toward the right and in this orientation sideways. So that's how the image is. So we're gonna to have to rotate that and flip it. So you can do that in Photoshop or online. I use online JPEG tools. Um, so this is the rotate function. We will import that. Okay, see how you want to Come down here to use degrees. This is actually 270 degree rotation. But now we have to flip it. So even if you do 90, it'll be the wrong way. It's got to be nose pointing toward the right. So we'll save that. Now we have to flip that. So here we'll go to the online JPEG tools and a vertical JPEG flip. We'll import that and it'll automatically flip it. There you go. That's the correct orientation. So we'll save that. Okay. Now we'll import this into OcuShaper and trace the outline profile. Okay, I've loaded up my OcuShaper software and we're gonna start here, File New. And it has a drop down menu for different lengths of generic boards. You want to start with the closest one to your length. So 6.2 for this one, we'll make it a 6.4. And we want to make sure that this is clicked on nose right. Because we rotated, we made sure that our image had the nose pointed toward the right with, so the rocker's correct. So now we're going to go down here to this pencil icon and change the length here to six foot four. And we're going to call the width 21 and a half for me. Okay. So we have a six foot four board. We can manipulate all these curves to copy the image. So now we'll bring the image in. So you come down to image board outline. Find that image. So here it says to set tail, hold T and click on the tail of the image. To set nose, hold N and click on nose of the image. Okay. So AccuShaper always imports the file pointed up even though we rotated it, but that's why we prepared it for success here. So we're gonna zoom out. This is a large image file, so it's gonna take a couple clicks. All right, so we can see the nose and tail. You can copy either the bottom or top image, doesn't matter. So we're gonna hold N down, click on the nose, and it snaps to the nose. So we gotta see the tail. We'll hold T down, go near the tail here, now it's snapped to that. And right here you can hit zoom fit, and it zooms into everything quickly. All right, now, so we have it real close to where it's supposed to be. Uh, we're going to go into show hide up top and scroll down to show board filled and unclick that. So now we can see the actual board through the uh, board. So 
we're not dead center here, so we can just hit down T for tail, get more toward the center. There you go. That's really close. Nose looks good. This is your board. Doesn't need to be totally exact perfect. All right. So now we're going to start by manipulating this blue midpoint curve. And we're just going to pull that over. The wide points forward on this design here. So anywhere there. Uh, these yellow and red ones on the bottom will lengthen curves. So you see how these all lengthen out. And, you know, you can just play around with the software for five minutes and figure it out. AkuShaper is really good, easy software to learn. Uh, now we'll take this yellow tangential curve, pull it around. That looks good. So you can always have your dimensions are right here. It's 18 and an eighth nose right now, 21 and 7 16 which is really close to 21 and a half, so we'll keep it. Uh, so in the tail area here, take the blue one's a control curve. So that's really super close. You know, we're just worried about one curve. It's going to be symmetrical. And images aren't always taken dead flat. So sometimes the surfboards are rotated. So you're looking at a tweaked angle. So just pick one side and go with it. The, the numbers, you know, 21 and a half is going to be 21 and a half. And these curves are going to be symmetrical. So here, I, I know for me, I want the tail to be like a squash tail or more rounded, not this rounded pin, just for easier wave catching in summer slop. So we're going to add another point in here. First, we'll zoom in with the zoom box. We can move all these curves. So we're going to add a point in here so then we can bust this tail out and make it a different shape. So we're going to hit right here, add point, and then put that box on the line somewhere. Click it. I'll try that again. There it is. All right, so we have the control point, and I want the tail block back here to be about three and a half. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard if you have one here. You can just hit them. Four inches. Okay. Pull this curve out. Uh, my tail, I want to be, see how the tail number changes? 15 and a half at 12 inches from the tail. I know that works well for me on these kind of boards. Um, that's cool. You just don't want to make anything that's funky like this. I mean, you can do that with a rocket tail and stuff. Uh, when we cut your outline, for you, we don't cut tails because the tips could snap off if you ever, first of all, you can't do swallow tails in, uh, in the Aku Shaper because the tips will break off when you, while you're shaping. So that, that's swallows are the last thing you do or any funky tail stuff. So you really just want to keep it square or rounded pin or whatnot. Pull this in four. Make sure your curves are all nice, nice and smooth curves. And if you want to put wings and bumps and whatnot, you just add more points up near the fin areas. Kind of like that. 15 and a half in the tail, so we can zoom all to fit. See, I gave some extra surface area in here, and that's going to help catch waves a whole lot in small summer slop here. Bring the nose out wider a bit. Bring that in. You can narrow it a tiny bit. Uh, 21 and a half, 20, see, it, well, if you zoom in, the uh, resolution 
of your moves change. There you go, 21 and a half. 21 and a half, we'll make this 18, so we can do that in different ways by changing the curve. And 15 and a half in the tail, three and three quarter tail block. It's good for me. That looks good. So you can turn that uh, show background, show board filled. And that's what your board looks like. So that is the outline, how to trace the outline in AccuShape for software. Now we'll move on to tracing the rocker and foil. To trace the, the rocker here, we're going to go into these tabs up top, top or bottom. I always use top. And now we're looking at the side view of the board. Uh, so we'll do the same image import. So we're going to go image, but we're going to do the profile now, which is the rocker and foil. And we'll find our image. Okay. Set tail, hold T, set nose, hold N when you click it. Same thing as the outline. Okay. So here we'll start on the nose, hold N down, hit the nose, hold T down, hit the tail. There you go. We're going to turn off the white here again so we can see the board. Show board filled, turn that off. Okay, now, this is important. This line is your zero line for your rocker. So you want the image to come down and touch that. So you have to cheat the, the image down. So I'm going to call the nose, hold note end down. Oop, opposite way. I'm going to push that down. There you go. Tail, bring, push up a little bit. And you should know your rocker numbers uh, from our design guide. What works for you. I know, you know, three and a half nos on this, I'm going to say. And you can look on the manufacturer website. Sometimes they have uh, information. But you should really just understand uh, what dimensions work for you and what the, you know, rocker dimensions do for paddling and steep waves and uh, grovelers and whatnot. So we're a bit short here, so I'm going to make sure the tail comes out to here. That's good. The apex is right there touching. Nose is a little long, but that's okay. So don't worry about thickness of the image. We're really worried about curves. We want to copy the curves, and the thickness can change to any thickness you want. This is your, your design, really. You're just using the, uh, this image to help you with a uh, popular shape. So we're on the... So we have top and bottom. See how when I toggle these, the uh, control points change. This is now we're controlling the bottom. So for nose and tail rocker, they have tabs up top. You click on nose rocker to enable that. And you can hit, the, so this says it is, if you look up top there, rocker is five and a quarter. We want, I want to bring that down to three and three quarter, or three and a half. Let's call it three and five eighths. So see, that's real close to what they had. And same thing, you turn the nose rocker off, turn the tail rocker on. This says two and seven sixteenths. I'm gonna call it two and three eighths. Yeah, maybe I'll bring it up, two and a half. Yeah, that looks good. All right, turn the tail rocker off. Now we can take the control points and bend that curve. 
to match the image. This yellow one. I like to use the arrows to keep everything uh, square when you're moving the curves. See how that curve creeping up? I'll zoom. You generally want to keep this bottom line, these uh, red and yellow control line points in line with the zero line here, because then that makes sure that your curve is nice and smooth. So that's why I use the arrow keys. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll bring this one down with the arrow keys. See that curve moving? Then I have a little white here, so I'll bring that yellow toward the middle. It's just a bouncing act of these points, so you get the nice curve, and I'll bring this red one down a bit. In a little. You can move the center point too, if the apex is up a little bit. So it's just, just plain around. There you go. You really want to make sure that the water has a smooth, continuous flow. That's the most important thing. That looks pretty good for the tap, for the uh, bottom rocker. Now we'll do the top foil. So we're going to switch over to the top tab. And we look down here, our thickness is two and three eighths. I'm going to want this to be two and a half for me. So I just use, use the uh, arrow keys to go up to two and a half. And the nose is a little thin. You want to thicken those up because you're going to shape it. So we're on the top. We're going to grab that blue control point. And it tells us up here, I can't mouse to it, but uh, the thickness right now is 3 sixteenths. So we definitely want that to be, uh, I like to make it 5 eighths for a block. So when we shape it, you can shape it down to a half inch or 3 eighths uh, very e easily with just a few strokes of the uh, tools and sandpaper and screen. Tail, same thing. I like to make that 3 quarters so you can adjust that tail rocker, give it flip or bring it down a bit. So down here it's for 5 eighths. Three quarters. And I'll turn the background of the board filled. So there's your rocker. So now I can see a little bit. Maybe I want to bring that down, rocker down a bit. So we'll go back to the bottom, take that tangential one, and bring that down a little bit. So it's good to be able to see through the board and then actually just look at it compared to the image. Same thing with the nose rocker. I'm going to pop that out a little bit. We're a little curvy. Looks good. All right, I'm going to save it. Always save your work. Save it. And then when you go to order, on our website here. You can order any blank because this is a custom blank. So just pick one that's close to, uh, so we're gonna go six five here. Uh, you want it that two and a half. Anything close, this is custom. We're gonna take your file here. So we'll do it exactly the way you want uh, to that file you made. But these are just general guidelines so let us know what we're selecting. You do stringerless, basswood, cedar, one inch HD, well, colored foam. So I'm going to go one eighth basswood. 
And then right down here, this is where you can upload your Aku Shaper file. So you can choose your file right here and it'll add it into the uh, 3D Beaver 6 floor. Right, so when you order it, it'll just upload it straight to us and we will cut it and ship it out to you. And that is it. How to make any board you want from tracing it from an image to Aku Shaper. If you have any questions, feel free to email us anytime. We're happy to help. All right, take it easy.